everyone, after months of talking about it on Vlogs Various, I thought I'd actually give you some footage from when I go live role playing. This is just the after character section, I can't film when it is in character and when we're live role playing, not that I would want to anyway, but I just wanted to give you some of the vibes of it all and just show you what I get up to. So I decided to get into Hazel's kit, Hazel being my character whilst it was raining and I just wanted to kind of show you all the layers that come together to form her outfit. I realised however that I'd forgotten her belt which is kind of a key component of her outfit as it kind of puts everything together and also allows me to carry things so I had to go out and get a new one. <laughs> And here she is in her full glory, or at least the outfit I wore on Friday. And yeah, carried on with the game and had a really good time, even though, of course, I was knackered by the end of it. Hi, it is September 21st. It is autumn. It is my favourite month. My aesthetic comes back out. And it is time for me to light my dragon fire candle because it's my favourite scent. It also reminds me of autumn and of live role playing, which is the only footage I've got so far this month because I haven't done a huge amount. That's a lie. I have done a fair amount that I just haven't filmed because it's been my work or it's been that big painting I've been doing, which I finally finished. And it took a lot out of me. It was a big piece, huge amounts of concepts, a lot goes into it. And the thought of doing another one it just was like, nope, 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 can't do it, can't do it. I have decided to take a bit of a break from that giant series. I just need to not feel physically ill when I think about doing another giant painting. So in the meantime, I have been just doing sketches. I had some recovery days from, like I say, live role playing, because it, it did take a lot out of me. It was pretty intense and it was intense. There was a lot of unpacking to do from it, like mentally and physically. It's like, was doing the big painting and had work to do on top of it. I often just sat in bed, which is a comfortable space, and sketched and just let myself enjoy the process of it and try not to do anything that had too much, like, uh, pressure? That's not the word I want, but I can't think of the word I want. Although, of course, because it's me, I'm like, everything needs needs stakes involved. Everything I do must be perfect or be part of pushing me towards a better artist. And I'm like, chill. Everyone I know is like, chill. So I'd like to try and go outside and experience my favourite month a little bit. I have a visit to see my family. It's my mum's 70th and we're going to go to like this nice big kind of cottagey house place and hopefully that'll be nice maybe it will be nice but hopefully i can show some of that is what i mean that'll be really good so maybe i'll do some drawing and painting there i don't know I'm trying to be really careful how much work i'm giving myself at the moment but i also don't want to become irrelevant and lose my skills and just fall into this pit of irrelevancy there's a lot going on at the moment mentally <laughs> i'm fine just just want to make sure I am still progressing and recurring to the end of the year and I'm looking back at what I've done I'm like oh, I'm not sure this has been a good year <laughs> but we'll see we'll see cats have been great uh they're really settling in they're really showing their personality and I love them so much and they are they are great and my main work is starting to dry up a bit now well I, I have no more paid work incoming. I'm finishing off previously paid work at the moment. And then I need to think about what I'm going to do over the winter months to try and earn a bit of an income. 
like selling prints and stuff just isn't really isn't really a thing it, it like my, my work just kind of gathers dust so don't really know about like creating new stuff because then that's money uh may open commissions try and find some way to earn a bit of money but we'll see we'll see uh anyway roll the next footage so after recording that footage i was like wow i am not okay right now so i decided to visit a friend of mine robin and a lovely cats and yeah had a break and event about stuff i just needed to talk about and your real friend robin and i appreciate you so much and then not long after that it was time to visit my family in a nice house in wales to celebrate my mum's birthday i didn't get too much footage from that time because well i was playing time with my family but i did get some footage of the hike we went on My housemate bought me some books from the cafe and little shop there and we decided to hike up Kedah Idris which was a challenge, it was very steep and I needed lots of breaks to uh, take in the scenery and breathe heavily for a little bit but I really enjoyed the hike, it's been a long time since I've done one of those. We arrived at the bridge which was our destination and I decided after some lunch to stick around for a bit and do some painting of the scenery because when else was I going to get this opportunity and my housemates carried on hiking for a little bit because they're crazy. I was absolutely done by this point. I was amazed by how blue this water was. Obviously, it's because of the sky, but I was still amazed and thought I'd record it for you. After I'd finished my painting, I was waiting around for a little bit and I was getting really cold, so I decided to head back down and go to the cafe and just chill out there for a little bit and really loved actually seeing the views. One, a little less exhausted as going down is way easier than going up, but also actually facing a different direction, being able to see the hills and the changing light. It was a really cool experience. And yeah, really good trip, really glad I went and very much needed during a quite stressful month. Oi! I know what time it is. Me the time because I know it's 11 22. Do you know what time that is? <coughs> that lunch time. Hi. You're a little menace. I know you know. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Oh my god, cat. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> See, what are you doing? Years. 
Oh my god, Enzo, don't you dare. In the southwest of the island nation, who appears in the female at birth, once they hit puberty, uh, da, 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 no. That's my phone. Well, I'm also am not particularly familiar with Dominican accent, so it could be something else entirely. Um, to watch more night today, last time. <laughs> US. So what queer idolysis means, and I think we're to make me believe there is some sort of Christian coverage there, and she was an endocrinologist from Cornell, she heard the rumours about, in capital letters, ethical concerns. There is no way around. Well, in the archive. Not we made them. Fucking TV lights are still good. And this is how babies happen. So it's like a week, which I would love to watch actually. It's like week to week, which part of your puberty. Johnny was a name that he came to later in life. His parents had named him Felicity. My family needs refreshing. We're off to Santa Claus. Rediscovering the great outdoors. Re so you have been fed now. Hmm. You're a lot quieter now, I see. In there. All right, well, you do you, I guess. See, am I betraying you right now? Hi, Lester. Hi, hey, you. <laughs> Is it dinner time? Okay, so finishing off this vlog with some footage of me just working away in the kitchen doing some photography work. And yeah, it was a slow but productive day and that's not what my days usually look like, but I wanted to put that one in for you. If you liked the video as ever, like, comment and subscribe and I will hopefully see you on another one. Take care of yourselves everyone. See ya.